Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Chairman. Uh, my name is Masahiro Chigira from Kyoto University uh, Disaster Prevention Research Institute. Uh, our title is uh, uh, Catastrophic Landslides and the Precursory deep seated Gravitational Slope Deformation Induced by the River Ju Rejuvenation in the Key Mountain, Central Japan. Uh, first, uh, let me uh, compare uh, the valley uh, in a glaciated area and a non-glaciated uh, fluvial uh, area. A glaciated valley has uh, such a U-shaped uh, steep uh, slope and a uh, wide valley bottom. And the uh, fluvial valley is B-shaped with very narrow uh, valley bottom. And uh, on the shoulder of a glaciated uh, slope, uh, such kind of a slope instability and a landslide uh, induced by, say, uh, deglaciation and uh, debuttressing. In a fluvial valley also uh, landslide uh, induced, uh, uh, but uh, uh, there should be some difference between uh, this uh, glaciated valley and the fluvial valley. Now uh, uh, let me talk about uh, Typhoon Talas 2011 Japan, uh, which uh, gave us a very important experience. Uh, uh, that typhoon crossed Japan very slowly uh, for three days and uh, gave a heavy rainstorm in this area. Now, geology, this is a median tectonic line, big fold, and the uh, uh, northern part is a, a so-called uh, inner belt and the uh, southern part uh, outer belt, where, uh, say, a uh, cement belt, uh, which is an accretional complex from Cretaceous to Neogen, uh, widely distributed, uh, which is characterized by uh, uh, broken formations or mixed rocks like this and uh, many thrust folds. Uh, that typhoon brought over uh, 2,000 millimeter rainfall in a maximum and more than 50 deep seated landslides. Uh, those landslides hit uh, directly the houses or uh, debris avalanche uh, threatened the downstream houses or uh, debris rushed into the swollen river and uh, uh, caused a tsunami. And here, uh, hydro <coughs> hydro power station completely broken. And then this one um, made a big landslide dance. And importantly, 39 deep seated catastrophic landslides had LIDAR DEMs before the event. Uh, this is a typical one. Uh, uh, this belt slid and the LO uh, landslide dam was made, and uh, uh, NHK uh, made a very interesting uh, video. Uh, this is a typical uh, example of uh, uh, precursory uh, landforms. Uh, now we are looking uh, from the air after the landslide and uh, uh, applying LIDAR in this area. Uh, we can see through uh, the forest and uh, looking at the crown of the landslide. Uh, before the event, uh, it was uh, like this and we see a dark bunch like this. These are small scarps. So uh, already a landslide uh, Gravitational slope deformation proceeded and the uh, catastrophic landslide prepared. So our main topics are uh, all the landslides with LIDAR DMs had been preceded by gravitational deformation and the most dominant type was uh, accurate small scarps along future crowns of landslides. And the gravitational slope deformation occurred along slope breaks uh, made by river incision of parallel surfaces. Uh, these are uh, our points and uh, uh, major uh, conclusions. Uh, this is a summary of precursory topography features of 39 deep seated catastrophic landslides. And uh, all landslides were in gravitationally deformed uh, slopes a small scarp and a failure at the foot, uh, 20, uh, so 51%, uh, and a small scarp and its foot 
uh, collided against the opposite slope, uh, 15%. So altogether, 66% had a small scalps uh, along the future grounds. And other uh, failure in the uh, previous failure or upslope extension of a failure, rich slope linear depression, and only one uh, we could not find a, a distinct precursory land form. But anyway, it was within a, a gravitationally deformed slope. So uh, we understand before a catastrophic event, uh, slope deformed, a strain accumulated, a kind of a critical state came, and the rain triggered the failure, and a large stress drop occurred. Uh, and uh, uh, this strain accumulation, a kind of a uh, critical state, appeared as a uh, small scalp in many uh, landslides. But we must be careful that uh, this landslide uh, had a sliding surface in a, along a mainly undulating thrust, uh, which is uh, characteristic to a uh, accretional complex. This is the histogram of uh, uh, scalp height and uh, scalp ratio, which is defined uh, by the ratio between uh, uh, scalp uh, width and the slope uh, length. Uh, we understand that uh, a very small scalp, so less than five meters high, had many, uh, and also a uh, scalp ratio uh, increases uh, with uh, decreasing this uh, scalp ratio. So maybe a big scalp ratio may suggest that the landslide already uh, stabilized after catastrophic failure. So gravitational slope or deformation occurred randomly? Uh, I think no. Uh, they have been induced by new river incision of parallel surfaces. This is a typical uh, feature uh, uh, seen in that area. We see a, a rather gentle slope in higher elevations and uh, along the uh, stream steeper uh, slopes. Uh, and uh, there's a slope break in between, and the gravitational slope deformation uh, occurred uh, in between. And uh, uh, rivers had uh, nick points. And this is a long river profile of the Kumano River along a, a trunk stream and uh, uh, tributaries. And uh, many tributaries have uh, slope breaks, and extending those slope breaks uh, we can reco uh, reconstruct the Paleo uh, River. Uh, and uh, here, uh, it was dated uh, 31 Ka. So, uh, uh, 200 or 150 meters incision occurred during uh, uh, 31 Ka or more. Now, uh, this is a schematic sketch showing the formation of inner gauges and the gravitational slope deformation. There used to be a rather gentler slopes, not actually it's so gentle, but anyway. And uh, uh, a stream fluvial incision accelerated with nick points and it propagated upstream. And uh, a foot of a slope is uh, undercut and the destabilization of gravitational deformation started. Uh, this is the uh, map showing the uh, paleo surface in the red uh, color and the gravitational uh, slope deformation in red color. We understand that uh, uh, gravitational slope deformation occurred along the edges of parallel surfaces. Uh, this slide shows the catastrophic landslide by uh, Typhoon Talas in red. Uh, we see that uh, uh, those uh, occurred on a gravitationally deformed slopes. And here also, uh, uh, 1889, there was a big rainstorm and uh, landslide uh, by that uh, typhoon, uh, indicated by blue. So this blue uh, color landslide also occurred in a similar uh, slopes. So uh, catastrophic uh, landslide occurred in uh, deep city gravitational slope deformations along slope breaks. So finally, this is a conclusion. Uh, before a catastrophic event, not only gravitational slope uh, deformation occurred, but also uh, these gravitational slope deformations have been induced by new river incision uh, of parallel surfaces. 
this is uh, very useful for a point, uh, pinpoint prediction, and uh, this is uh, useful for aerial prediction. Uh, I think uh, such kind of a, uh, uh, idea in, uh, could be the same in a glaciated area, uh, slope destabilization. Actually, this is the final slide of my uh, presentation, and uh, we will ha uh, have a 2014 IAAZ ASEAN Regional Conference in Kyoto, uh, September 26, 27, and uh, we will have a field trip in this area. And also, uh, next fourth uh, slope tectonics in 2017, uh, also in Kyoto, and uh, uh, I'm planning a field trip this area. Oh, sorry, this area was similar area. Uh, thank you for your attention. <laughs>